Welcome to this series of tutorials and this the first part of this long tutorial is going to consist in how to create a component but this time I'm going to show how to use different features inside GC. We're going to create a solid. The second part we're going to populate that component along one two curves but also I'm going to show different a different way to do it. We're going to place a point. I'm not going to use the t value. I'm going to use a different function. And the last part that is the, the goal for this tutorial is to show how to work from GC and Excel in a very nicely way. And so we can have more control of all the features that we are creating inside GC and we can add more variation to our design. So the first thing that I as I say, let's just create something very quickly. Let's create a component. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, as always, just cancel my camera and go to the top view. And for doing this, I'm I'm going to create three variables first, which are. It's important to create a variable if we want to work with GC and Excel, since the values of the variables, the graph variables, are the ones that I'm going to switch then into the file from Excel. So let's do that first. I'm going to call I'm going to call this the first variable. It's going to be h to control a height of of the solid that I'm going to create. Here it doesn't matter the value, so I'm just going to add let's say equals 10. Then since I want to create a rectangle to create the profile of the solid, I'm going to create two more variables. The first one is going to, I'm just going to call it xz. This means x dimension. And I'm going to add a value of 5. Just random numbers now. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to do the same for the y dimension. So I'm just going to call it yd equals 2. OK. I'm going to save this transaction. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place a point. And I'm going to create a line by start point directional length. But for doing that also, I'm going to use a coordinate system by universal transformation so we can add more variation to it and I'm also going to show in the last part of the tutorial how can we change the values of that coordinate system to rotate one of our single components in a, in in the, the popular in the entire array so that's very nice so let's create our coordinate system And I'm going to do it by universal transformation. So my coordinate system is asking me for my basic coordinate system, which in this case is base CS. And here I'm just going to type 0 in all these values, which are the ones that I'm going to use later to, to work from Excel. But and the origin, I'm going to select my point of 1. I'm going to hit OK. So I have now everything to create my line by start point direction and length. But let's do something before we continue. That is, let's just rename the two features that we create now. That's something that is very recommended to do. So instead of calling point of 1, let's call this guy base p of base point and coordinate system I'm going to call this coordinate system solid and I'm going to hit OK so now I rename my, my features so let's move on and let's create now our line and I'm going to do it by start point, direction, and length. Here we are. So the start point, I can, as always, 
I can type the name here or I can select it from the view or I can select it from the symbolic diagram. So let's type here the name which is base P. Okay. The direction is going to be the Z direction of my coordinate system that I create. So the easiest way to do it is to select this blue line which that means the direction. And the length, I'm going to use the variable that I created in the beginning, which was h. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I have my line. So the last thing for creating our solid is just go to solid and create it. So let's do it. So let's go to transactions, save this transaction before. And let's go to create new feature. Let's go to solid and we're going to do it sweep profile along path. Here we are. So the path is the line that I create. So I can do, I can select from the view line one. Here I'm going to, I have to say that I want a rectangle. Let's ignore the next next thing the closest curve in that way you can you can do if you don't want to do a rectangle or, or a circle which are the by default functions to do it in gc you can add a different uh, if you have a curve you can do it in that way but here in x dimension let's type we're gonna have to type in x dimension and y dimension so for these two i'm gonna use the variables that we create in the beginning so let's just type x d in x dimension and in y dimension y d and let's hit okay okay and type null here okay so now i have my solid so the next thing that I'm going to do is just to create our component for but first just let me let's verify that everything is working so instead of let's change the values of our variables so instead of having five here I want to make a square and maybe taller 15 okay so I want to hide the line the coordinate system and the point. So when for now that we when we create our feature type, which is going to be our adaptable component, we are only going to see the the solid. So that's also I recommend that to do before you create your components, hide the things that you don't want to see, so you don't have you you can have more control of them. So let's save the transaction and let's create our feature type feature type just click in here as always I'm gonna call it CZ it's gonna be the solid tutorial and the reason that I'm calling ZZ is because in that way when we create our feature we're gonna find it in the bottom of our list and that's easier for us to find it. So from select from the model, the only things that I'm going to select is the point of one, the base point, is the base point with, that I use for creating my component. So let's select that one. And that's it. So you see it brings the rest of the things. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just to move my point up so it brings my base yes, my base point, my three variables, and these are the th three things, six things that I still can change for the for each component since I use the coordinate system by universal transformation. And so I'm gonna click uh, everything has to be replicable. And I'm gonna unlock it. And I'm going to storage it in my GC environment. 
So I'm just gonna hit OK. I have one called like that, so I'm gonna call it Excel. Sorry, sorry for that. So let's hit OK. And now let's wait for GC to do it. Okay. So now if we go to our feature list, you're going to see that I have a lot of them. I have my ZZ Tutorial Excel. And yeah, so now we have the first part of this tutorial, which was how to create a component using a solid. And please go to the next video, the second part of this tutorial, to show how to replicate this element in using two curves. Thank you.